Hey, what's up? I want to do a quick video on the, um, the ridiculous Andre Ward quote-unquote no-show for the, for the press conference. Uh, well, first of all, you should just go to 10 players video. They just totally hit it right on the head, smack dab. Go to them first, okay? I'm not biting off their video, or maybe I am, but I'm, I'm sure they don't mind. But go watch their video. It explains it all. It's funny because, you know, Thunderdome, who I got something for, by the way. Okay, that dude, <laughs> yeah, I got something for that dude. Um, it's hilarious because he did a two-hour plus video trashing Ward, calling him a diva, calling him a no-show, saying like he's got all these inside connections when the fact is that kid has zero connections. I don't even think he's ever been in a boxing gym. Okay, um, saying people don't know how boxing works. No, it's him that doesn't know how boxing works, first of all. But, you know, what Kathy Duva did is the age-old... Don King move, you know, you go up, you just start saying shit's done, so the other side looks bad, period. The thing with Kathy, Kathy Duva is, she's scared, okay? She, I mean, like it or not, and, and I'm the first one, I blame Stevenson for that Kovalev-Stevenson fiasco, okay? And she was furious, she was suing, doing all kinds of stuff, she had every right to be. She was furious, but, you know, she doesn't care about the na 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 they proved that Stevenson was a ducker bullshit, she wants to fight because she wants to make money because, you know, main events doesn't really have anybody. They're, they're a small promotional outfit. You know, they've had Purnell, but they've never had a, a big stable. They've had some names. So she needed that fight bad. And what, what's happening here is she's getting scared that this Ward fight isn't going to happen. Okay? Um, it's going to happen, by the way, for sure. But uh, So it came to light that Kathy Duva, and by the way, I did make some calls to some quote-unquote Ward people. Not Ward, you know, not anybody like that. And he never even agreed to be at that press conference. Kathy Duba just called a press conference said, I'm calling a press conference. And did any of you guys watch the post-fight presser? Not in the ring, but the post-fight presser. They said during the press conference Saturday night that no venue was decided. Okay? They said it. Um, Thunderdome is a lying sack of shit. He has no sources. Tickets were not supposed to go on sale that day. Tickets don't go on sale three months. Tickets don't go on sale before the fighters have even announced what they're going to make. They still have to negotiate all that, okay? They're going to fight, but they have to negotiate what they're going to make. Now, with HBO, I mean, when was the last time you've seen two pay-per-views in the same month? They have potentially three pay-per-views in the same month. They're fucked. How are they going to afford that, right? So there's a lot of angling going on. A lot. I'm not saying Ward Kovalev is going to be a pay-per-view. I'm just saying there's a lot of angling going on. And, you know, you do want to make as much money as you can possibly make. And, you know, the Rock Nation people and, and the main events people should be like, well, wait a minute. Let's see what's going to make us the most money. Who knows? Maybe Oakland will make them the most money. You know, oh, the deck stacked. Ward's always stacked the deck. He gets to pick the judges. He doesn't get to do any, any of that. That's bullshit. Okay. That's what happens. Fighters fight, you know, like Terrence Crawford fighting in, in Omaha, Broner fighting. In, you go where you're going to be able to sell the most tickets, okay? Thunderdome said that. Kovalev said, I want the fight in Russia. I'd love to have the fight in Russia, but I won't do that because I won't do that to Ward. I won't stack the deck against him. That's a lie. Kovalev never, never said that. He just totally made that up. He's like, see, Kovalev's a good guy. He doesn't want to stack the deck. That's a lie, okay? So, you know, they still want to negotiate a venue. Maybe, you know, maybe Rock Nation is holding out. Hey, maybe if we get an analyst and show these guys that we can make another five or six million if we do have it in Oakland, you know, who knows? Maybe that's what they're doing, okay? But as of Saturday night, no venue was announced yet. So Kathy Duva lied, okay? She just said, I'm having a press conference on, um, on Tuesday, like weeks ago. Ward never agreed to it. Ward, you know, he's like, he said, okay, you can have your little Q&A with Kovalev, but we never said we were coming to a press conference. Now, all, all of a sudden, and it worked too, you know. It's working for her because a lot of people, you know, have watched people like Thunderdome and are saying that Ward didn't show up, this, that, and the third. And that's just not the case. These men will be fighting, okay. There's a lot of things to angle out on how to make the most money, okay. Because they're not two pay-per-view attractions, and it's a huge fight, and it's a huge risk to both their careers. 
So they both have to make the most amount of money, okay? Now, uh, it's funny when Thunderdome was like, New Jersey, what the hell does he care about New Jersey? What does New Jersey have to do with anything? I don't know. That's because you don't know anything about boxing. Kovalev's quote-unquote home here is Atlantic City. New Jersey is also main event's home. You buffoon, okay? Know your boxing, bro. Rookie, amateur. Know your boxing, okay? So it's all just one giant lie that I think 78 snuffed the lie, and I just watched 10 players. Again, go see 10 players. They just shot that lie down so fast in 10 minutes. Um, basically, Thunderdome's two and a half hours of ranting and raving and screaming and crying all got put to shame in 10 minutes by a dude that barely does boxing videos, okay? Because you want to know why? Because he listened. He listened, okay? Now, is Cappy Duva some e evil, mean wench? No, no, and yes, she's a promoter. If you're a promoter, you know, you lie. You do shit like that. She is so terrified that she's going to lose this fight. Like she lost, you know, the Stevenson fight. I'm not saying she personally lost it, but the fight didn't happen. She's got to have a big fight. So she's doing all the tricks, you know, right away, right now, okay, to put pressure, 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 okay? The fight's going to happen. Ward sat in that ring and said the fight's going to happen, okay? The fight's going to happen. Unless, of course, Kovalev pulls out. Because wasn't it Kathy, Bid, Kathy Duva that pulled out of the first bid? It was Stevenson. But, hey, we'll talk about that some other day. So, uh, yeah, I love it. Um, Thunderdome, two and a half hour video, screaming, yelling, acting tough. Uh, all to get shot down in ten minutes by uh, ten players. Thunderdome has told a bunch of lies about me, too. And I'm going to be making a video real soon. I've been on vacation, but uh, what did he say? He said... Uh, he gave me 72 hours to accept some kind of debate or some shit. First of all, every time he says that, I accept it, and then he disappears. Go look at my video two weeks ago. I was like, anytime, anywhere, any place. Because, dude, I don't know the lightweight lineage. I never said I did, but I got a plenty of questions to ask you that I know the answer to, and you have claimed that you know the answer to, and you're going to fucking fail them, dude, because you were wearing your glasses. You know my rules, no glasses. And you said, I'm going to be embarrassed? What the fuck would I be embarrassed by a bunch of dudes from a peanut gallery for? You're the one. Dude, I've proved time and time and time and time again that you're a fraud. No one's proved that I'm a fraud. You want to know why? Because I keep it 100. I don't lie. If you don't lie, you're all right. Okay? I'm telling you right now. If you ask me, if, if I'm talking to you, I don't even want to talk to you because I don't like you, okay? But if I'm talking to you and you ask me who the heavyweight lineage is, okay, I don't know it. So... How am I embarrassed? Okay? Do I know more about the actual sport of boxing? How to fight a certain style? How to run a training camp? How to teach a boxer the different kinds of punches? Absolutely. I'll make you look like a fool. If you gave me two twin dudes that had the same physical attributes and they didn't know anything about boxing, you gave one of them to me for three weeks and one of them to you for three weeks, my guy would mop the shit, mop you up, okay? And, you know, you don't see it. Thunderdome, but you talk hella shit, call people pussies, bitches, this, that, you know, and it's pretty bad, you know, you're too much of a coward to name names, but we know who you're talking about, okay, I have never done that, okay, all I've done is said you're a fraud, I've done videos saying you're a fraud, just like you do videos saying this fighter's a fraud, or Dante's a fraud, or this guy's a fraud, okay, but you, I never got personal with you. I've never, ever called you a bitch. Okay? None of that shit. You might think I have, but go watch. I never have, because I think it's funny. But now you're going to sit up there and call me a bitch? I don't call anybody a bitch. You want to know why? Because that word's very serious to me. You know, if I call someone a bitch, I know I better fucking protect myself at all costs, because a man might try to kill me. That's where I come from. So I don't call people that. But you want to sit up there and call me a bitch? You know? Call me a coward. Call me this, call me that. And make up lies. You actually said to people that Tito messaged me and said that he, and, and he, so he saw this video. So if he doesn't show up in 72 hours, he's a coward. I never messaged you and said that, you fucking lying sack of shit. So before I said it was funny, now I'm mad. If that's what you wanted, you got it. I'm mad. You're making up lies about me of things that I said personally. And I've never done that to you, and that's fucking serious. 
And what's hilarious is you're doing it because you saw that I wrote I'm retired from getting credentials and going to fights. Now, and then you proceed to tell everybody, oh, it's because you got your credentials pulled because you acted like an asshole. Um, yeah, sorry, bud. That's not the reason. I did tell you guys I got my credentials pulled. That was three years ago at um, Pacquiao Bradley 1. And I got my credentials pulled from Magna Media. Okay, I can still go to all the fights, my friend. And I will be going to um, plenty of fights. Plenty of fights near you, okay? Now again, I've never been a guy that's been, you know, tough guy, let's fight on the internet. I don't do that because it's stupid. You look just asinine, okay? However, you call me a bitch, and I hate that word, a punk, all that shit. Old man, you know, I'm an old man, right? I'm 44, but you know, you say I'm 70. And because you figure you won't see me because you figure out, you know, well, when you see me, you're going to have to come up to me and call me a bitch or else you're the bitch and you're the coward because you know, I never called you that. So that's, that's the, you know, I don't like fighting anybody, but if anybody ever wanted to fight me, that's the one way to do it. Walk up to me and call me a bitch. And then you better put your hands up fast because I don't want to hear it was a sucker punch because it's coming. So <clears throat> yeah, when you see me, you know, if you don't call me a bitch, you're the coward. And when you do call me the bitch, it's fucking on like a motherfucker, dude. Okay? And, you know, I don't underestimate anybody, but uh, let's just say that uh, I used to make dudes like you fucking wash my underwear in the joint. Punk. It's on.